Thank you. Speaking of Big Tony, before I do this next card trick, I want to tell you a story about one of the first times I ever performed it. And it's a true story, but it contains strong language. So I'll do it the way they would on television. I'll use a different word. When I was in my 20s and still lived in New York, one year I was hired to do a show at Umberto's Clam House in Little Italy. The same Umberto's Clam House where Crazy Joey Gallo had been gunned down. The event was the birthday party of the owner, Matty the Horse Ionello, who was later convicted of racketeering and extortion, died in prison. So they introduced me to the birthday boy, uh, who weighed about 300 pounds. They clear a space in front of him, and I do the card trick that I'm going to show you in a moment. And as you're going to see, it involves performing the same magical phenomenon eight times in a row. So I do it the first time, and Maddie, who is surrounded by these very scary-looking men, says to them, How the freak did he do that? <laughs> I do it a second time, and he says, How the freak is this kid doing that? By now, it's so quiet that I can hear my own blood circulating. <laughs> I do it a third time. He goes, bang! Will somebody tell me how the freak this kid is doing that? By now, I'm thinking I may soon be joining Crazy Joey. <laughs> and I still have to do this five times more. But somehow I get through the trick with Maddie getting angrier each time. At the end, I expect him to go, nobody fools Maddie the horse eight times in a row and lives. Just ask Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Instead, he shakes my hand and says, kid, that was freaking great. And I was hired to do that show every year after that until I moved out of New York. So I would now like to show you the car trick that I have ever since thought of as my near-death experience. <laughs> and uh, for this trick, I'm not going to use the deck of cards because in a deck, the cards are all alike. Excuse me, in a deck, the cards are all different. For this, I need cards that are all alike. And these cards are all alike. Every one of these cards is identical. Absolutely the same in every... <laughs> with one exception. <laughs> but except for that single nine of diamonds, these cards are all deuces. They are all black deuces. They are all deuces of clubs, except for the one nine at the back. Now, one deuce I will place face down... One deuce I will place face up, and I will keep alternating between face down deuces, face up deuces. The reason I need so many deuces is that, as you may know, in poker, deuces are wild. That means that a deuce can represent any card. It can represent the nine of diamonds. But if I take a deuce and rub it against a nine, it starts to resemble the nine of diamonds. Look, I'll trap a deuce between two nines. When I twist, that's when I'm left with nothing but nines. Wow. Wow. This next deuce I'll handle very slowly because I know it can be confusing. Confuses me sometimes. Naturally, it hasn't changed yet because I haven't rubbed. It's only when I rub that it changes, as have these other three <laughs> cards. And this next deuce, I'm going to leave jutting out of the center because that way you can't suspect sleight of hand if I'm not even touching the card. But when I rub, Natalie, I want you to take the card. Look at it, show it to everyone. That's when it changes. All you have to remember is that the card does not change until... I rub that when it changes, as have these other cards. And you know, I can change these cards not only one at a time, I can even change them two at a time because I can take two deuces at the same time face to face. If you do two at a time face to face, it's a little different because if I rub, they will change. There's a delay, but eventually, <laughs> they change. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think they thought that last one was going to... Watch this one, though. So that I began with a single nine and eight deuces, and I end with nine 
nines, and that's why deuces are wild. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do one last one. But before I do the last one, I want to thank you, Janelle, for helping me during the different card tricks. Doing things like um, handing me the nines. and <laughs> I don't even think they saw you do that. The magicians, they'll play the tape back over and over. They'll catch it, but I don't think they saw you do it. So it's a little souvenir. It's not much. But it's a little memento of the performance. I'd like you to have these cards and show them to your friends and tell them they were once deuces. <laughs> and if you put these cards under your pillow, are you married? Yes. If you put these cards under your pillow, when you wake up tomorrow in their place, you will find a hundred dollar bill. Mm. And if there's not a hundred dollar bill, you know what that means. Your husband took it, obviously. <laughs>